code name Kusha. This 21,700 crore shield is being developed by the DRDO. While it's not a physical shield, the Indian Iron Dome is a sophisticated network of radars and missiles that can eliminate any aerial threat entering its area. If you haven't heard of the Iron Dome, it is an advanced system that can detect and destroy incoming stealth fighters, aircrafts, drones, cruise missiles, and precision-guided munitions at ranges of up to 350 kilometers and creates a protected landmass. India plans to deploy this by 2028 to 2029. This is yet another asset added to India's growing defense sector arsenal. Only during this year, India exported a whopping $1.9 billion worth of defense weapons. While that seems impressive, we are still the biggest importers of defense equipment, but only the 24th largest exporters of weapons. Our defense sector continues to grow rapidly, and there's a lot more potential for our exports in the years to come. Back in March, the Indian government spent $8.5 billion to purchase missiles, helicopters, artillery guns, and electronic warfare systems. The government aims to export 35,000 crore rupees worth of defense products by 2025. Here's just a glimpse of our current armory. Light armored multi-purpose vehicles, warships, helicopters, integrated surveillance and targeting systems, gun towing vehicles, fighter jets, and more. But why are we developing so many weapons? With border tensions escalating, India has rapidly increased its defense production to tackle the rising threat while trying to be less dependent on imports by manufacturing domestically. And also upgrading our Soviet-era weapons simultaneously. But it's not just about guarding our borders and upgrading old Soviet-era weapons. India also aims to become a major weapons exporter. Under the Make in India initiative, our defense sector saw a 23-fold increase in exports, reflecting India's progress in the defense manufacturing sector in such a short period of time. Currently, there are over 100 Indian companies, a mix of both public and private players, who are exporting defense products that are created on the Indian soil to over 80 countries. The Indian government aims to achieve 1.75 lakh crore in turnover of defense production by 2025. Just this year, Indian companies signed major deals with the likes of Boeing, GE Aviation, and the Israel weapons industry. Another crowning jewel on this manufacturing initiative is the INS Vikram. With 1,600 crew on board, it's India's largest aircraft carrier. The 43,000-ton carrier has a maximum speed of 28 knots and houses 2,200 compartments. It houses 30 aircrafts, 18 fighters, and helicopters on its decks. This aircraft carrier was built right here in India, making India one of the few countries that can indigenously build its own aircraft carriers. The others being the USA, UK, France, Italy, and China. These are a few of India's defense companies and the record growth they had for their order bookings. We remain positive about the long-term outlook for the defense sector. Here are a few defense sector stocks that you should look out for and our research team's view on them. India is well on its path to modernize its Soviet-era equipments with state-of-the-art military weapons created right here in India and also to become a global weapons exporter. Based on the current trajectory, this sector is only set to grow in the years to come. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all related documents carefully before investing.